The tools that I'm gonna go over today are the basic tools I think you should get and learn to master if you wanna become a modern homesteader. These are basic tools, but these are the main tools I found myself grabbing throughout the day when we were building our modern homestead. These aren't all the tools you're ever gonna need, but I believe these six are a great foundation to start. You can use these tools for so many projects around your house, for doing odd jobs. Stay tuned to the end of the episode so you can find out who won the flashlight from last week's review. One of the most important tools to start with is a tape measure. They make so many different ones. We got Boss Dish, Stanley, another Stanley here. There's so many different ones, it can kind of get complicated. You got a 16 footer here, another 16 footer. This one's a little bit wider, which is nice. The further out you go, the more flexible it is, where if it's a narrow, skinny one like this, they're a little bit more flimsy. And this one's in between. A lot of it depends on what you're doing for a job and what you're gonna need. If you're just doing a small little job, this is perfect. If you're doing a big job with long lengths, 25 foot is really nice. I myself prefer most of the time a 16 footer just because it's smaller, it's easier to have on your side and it weighs less. The most common one is a 25 foot measuring tape and this is the one I would recommend getting starting off. You can do a lot of jobs if you're doing outside work, if you're measuring say for fence posts, 25 feet is a pretty long distance, if you're measuring for fence, building your barn, all different things, the 25 footer works. I know some of these are kind of basic skills for some people, but I think it's a good foundation to start and we gotta learn somewhere. The next one I'm gonna to go to is a hammer. Another easy, simple thing, but it's another good thing to learn to use and to master. I like the East Wing one. There's a bunch of other cheap hammers out there. The wooden handle one, you can get for a few bucks here and there. They break easy. If you wanna pick something up at a yard sale, it's a good place to start. If you're gonna go and buy one, you're gonna spend probably 20 bucks to 30 bucks. The East Wing, I think 22 on Amazon right now. I'd get this one. It's all metal construction with an insulated handle. You can run over it with your truck if you leave it outside, and it's gonna last. I like the straight claw myself. That's all a preference. Then you have all different kinds of levels. You got a torpedo level, two foot levels, you have four foot levels, and you have eight foot levels. Just for starting off, I'd recommend either a two foot level or a four foot level, depending on what you're gonna be doing. If you get a lot of smaller jobs in the house, two foot level's handy. I like a two foot level for say, if you're leveling off your stove, if you wanna make sure you're gonna bake a nice even flat cake, if you want a level stove, you're putting shelves in, the torpedo level works good. A two foot level works good for putting in fence posts and a four foot level works even better. It really all depends on what you plan on doing right away, but I definitely recommend having a level, either a two foot or a four foot. Next we have your speed square. You got the regular size common one here, then you have a 12 inch one here that comes in really handy for cutting wide boards. This is gonna be the first speed square you wanna get, it's a seven inch. You can get just the square itself, but better yet, you wanna get the one that has the blue book for roof, and stairway layouts. Then you just got your normal everyday 15 inch coarse cross cut saw. I found this to be the best budget friendly one. It works really nice. I've used quite a few budget hand saws and I've never been pleased with them. I really like the Irwin. None of these tools were given to me. These are all tools that I bought throughout the time and these are the ones that I like. Then of course you're gonna need a drill. I've had this Porta cable for five years now and I've actually used this one to build the homestead. They come in very handy for screwing your two by fours together, for drilling, if you need to drill a pilot hole. You'll be finding plenty of uses for your drill. All right guys, time to find out who the winner of the flashlight is. I'm just using a random comment picker on the internet. I'm gonna enter in the video. Load comments, here we go. Awesome, Maniac Grammys Homestead. You're gonna win the flashlight, Woohoo! All right, Maniac Grammys Homestead was the winner of the flashlight. We're gonna let you choose. You have your option between the pen light or the work light. PM me with which one you want and your shipping address. Bah! Let's give Maniac Grammys Homestead a high five. Woohoo! These are only some of the tools 
that you'll need for your modern homestead. I'll leave a link down below in the description for the tools I reviewed today. In future episodes, I'm going to be going over tools that I use to build our modern homestead and tools that we use around the homestead almost on a daily basis. We hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. It really helps. Thanks for watching and we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.